Turning to other election news, Egyptian officials continue to limit the scope of political dialogue ahead of a presidential election set for May 26th and 27th. VOA's Elizabeth Errett reports from Cairo. Egyptian presidential candidate Abdel Fattah el-Sisi dominates the political arena. The former military chief is running high in the polls. His only competitor registers single-digit support, and for many who already see him as the nation's leader, a Sisi victory later this month seems just a formality. But Egyptian officials are taking no chances. In recent days, a court has barred members of former President Hosni Mubarak's party from taking part in future elections. April 6, the pro-democracy movement that helped topple Mubarak in 2011, has likewise been banned. In a televised interview, Sisi himself vowed not to let up on his main political challenger, the Muslim Brotherhood. The banned and now-designated terrorist group behind former President Mohamed Morsi, whom Sisi helped oust last year. Asked if the Brotherhood would no longer exist under his presidency, his answer was simple. Hey. Yes, just like that. Kid. Sisi also defended a law severely limiting protests, including protests against the protest law. I say again so that what we say is logical. We are saying this is the law to regulate protests. And the idea that we will not accept the law and we will protest because we don't accept it, that means we don't live in a state. The idea of such limits is anathema to some in a country of dissent and protest have been major catalysts for change including the fall of Mubarak and Morsi and Sisi's rise to power. We cannot restrict any political party or sect or opinion. We shouldn't. That is democracy. That is what we are demanding. Each person should be allowed to state his opinion without restrictions. Even if he was wrong, we should listen and discuss things till we reach a good point, because eventually we all want the best for Egypt. But as suggested by the polls, that may be a minority opinion. The chaos of post-revolution Egypt and what some see as the object lessons from Libya and Syria have led to a tolerance of repressive tactics. Isolating any political party, whether it is the Muslim Brotherhood or April 6, if it benefits the country, it won't have a negative effect on democracy. I think it will be a good step towards democracy. Yet given that Egypt's last two presidents, even with extraordinary powers, proved powerless in the face of dissent and protest, it's far from clear how long Sisi can count on such uncritical support. Elizabeth Arad, VOA News, Cairo.